Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show off my Doors vinyl collection. Um, I do have most of them. I am missing other voices in full circles. Um, it's not because I don't want them, it's just because I haven't found a decent copy and I've yet to buy them. But, this is what I have. So we're going to start off with, of course, The Doors, their debut album. Everybody should know this album, or at least listen to it once. Fantastic first album. It's got all their hits on it. Break On Through, Light My Fire, The End, Backdoor Man, Alabama Song. But yeah, if you are looking to get into The Doors and don't really know their music, I highly suggest checking this one out. Next, later that year, they put out Strange Days. Um, I like Strange Days. This has Love Me Two Times on it. It has People Are Strange on it. It has When the Music's Over on it. Um, there's Moonlight Drive is on this. This is also a fantastic album. Um, this is the mono version of the album. Um, but yeah, The Doors, Strange Days, the second album by The Doors. Another fantastic album. But yeah, like I said, it has Your Lost Little Girl, Unhappy Girl, Horse Latitudes... But yeah, another fantastic album. And like I said, this came out later that year, so we're still in 1967. Uh, the first album came out January. This one came out in October. Next, we got we got uh, Waiting for the Sun. We have Waiting for the Sun came out in 1968, the following year. Um, and this is also a great album. All their albums are fantastic, though. It's just some of them are better than others, like every band. But this has Hello, I Love You, uh, Summertime Love, Unknown Soldier, 5 to 1, Spanish Caravan. But this is the stereo version of the album, and this is Waiting for the Sun. This came out in 1968. Um, I skipped an order. Hold on. The, the next album... The fourth album we have is The Soft Parade. And this is where the group started to kind of unwind a little bit, if you will. But overall, it's still a fantastic album. Um, still a fantastic album. It, and then it, this is when they started to add strings and stuff in the group. But this has Tell All the People, Wild Child, and Touch Me. It also includes Soft Parade, which is probably one of my favorite tracks by The Doors. And this came out in 1969. This is their fourth album. Next we have Morrison Hotel. This album would be a return to their bluesier roots, I guess, if you will. Um, and obviously this has the song... Roadhouse Blues, You Make Me Real, Peace Frog, The Spy, Maggie McGill, and this came out in 1970. And this is Morrison Hotel. Or, the, or if you will, the first, um, first side is Hard Rock Cafe, the second side is called Morrison Hotel. A lot of people don't realize that, but it's actually two different records. Or I guess it's two different sides, naming of the record, rather. But, yeah, overall, fabulous album. Called Morrison Hotel. And the last album they would do is L.A. Woman. With Jim Morrison, rather. Because they did two albums without Jim Morrison and people didn't like it and they kind of became obscure. But this one is a good album. And this had The Changeling, Lover Madly, Been Down So Long, Car Assist By My Window, L.A. Woman, and Riders on the Storm. Um, the two big ones would be L.A. Woman and Riders of the Riders on the Storm, of course. This would be, like I said, this would be their final album with Jim Morrison. L.A. Woman. Then, as bonuses, I have some extra stuff. I have Doors Live at the Isle of Wright Festival, 1970. This would be their last professional live concert, although there are bootlegs. Um, they have further shows than this, but this is pretty much nearing the end of the lifespan of The Doors right here. Um, this is the last concert that they performed, or um, recorded, so we can listen to it. But this is a record store day release, 
And the number, if you care, is 3043. And if you want to read that, there we go. Yeah, Jim was uh, kind of not feeling it at this point, and they were just tired, and uh, the end was near. But overall, it was a great performance that night, and luckily that we got something out of it. Next, we have the Soft Parade Stripped. This is the, I guess you would call it the acoustic version of Soft Parade. All the versions, all the songs do not have any of the horns in it, or they don't have any of the horns in it, or they don't have any of the weird stuff that the group later inquired it. Um, although that being said, you can still hear the horns if you are a fan of the group. Um, it's just a record store daily release, either buy it if you want or don't. It doesn't really make a difference. It's just good to have these songs on vinyl. Um, this number is... It is 4804 out of 1,200. So, yeah. Doors Record Store Day release. Next, I have the Doors Soft Parade. This is the 50th anniversary edition. This comes with the original stereo vinyl. And it comes with a bunch of unreleased studio stuff, which is really cool. Um, and the strip thing that I just showed, that's actually where the, these came from, is this CD right here. This is the door stripped, and they basically took all this song on, on here and put it on vinyl, I guess, if you will. And this is the door soft parade. And then lastly, we have Morrison Hotel, 50th Anniversary Edition. Same thing with the soft parade edition, it's got... Two CDs, though, rather than three. And I already showed this in another video if you want to watch it. But, yeah, really cool box set with a um, bunch of unreleased stuff. But, yeah, that's my Doors collection. Doors are probably one of my favorite bands. And, um, yeah, that's all I really have to say. Thanks for watching. Bye.